double splice tapes. They come in 8, 12, 16, 24 millimeter wide. I have them in red, black, and yellow. The black is used for splice detection, and the other two are a preference. We'll remove the liner from the double splice. We'll place the splice on the paper tape. It has little alignment bumps. There are bumps on the splice tape itself that will fall right into the sprocket drive hole of the carrier tape. We will then get our leader and we will place that as well in the alignment bumps. What we'll do then, we'll fold over this splice so that you have one rail of tape on the top, one rail of tape on the bottom. We will then carefully remove the clear plastic piece so that all that remains is a splice on the top, a splice on the bottom. And this will allow it to run through your feeder. If the construction of the paper carrier tape is so that it's sturdy enough to run through your pick and place machine without any issues. This requires no tool to be able to place this splice.